Good morning, good people of the earth and beyond. Who knows where these videos make it to, you know? These videos go onto the internet and who knows, maybe like 500 years in the future, someone will be watching my video on Mars. started here. Today's shout out goes to our friends at Bull Snot. All of the cleaning products you need to keep your truck shining. Go down below to my description where you can find the link to their website. Brownox.com for the US and Bull Snot Canada for up here in Canada. Go check them out if you like a clean rig. Let's get on with the video. I'm still tired waking myself up. I'm gonna get loaded here right away. I'm in a town called Kenora, Ontario, which is in northwestern Canada. Uh, far, 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 pardon me, pardon me. <laughs> Can't talk. I need, I need a coffee. Northwestern Ontario, which is just next to southern Manitoba, if that makes sense. I'm gonna grab this load here. I have to tarp it and then take it down to Brainerd, Minnesota, which is six hours south of here. This is a common route that I do quite often. It's a fun little route. I like it. I enjoy it. It's going to be fun. Thanks for joining me. Before we start, though, you give me a mind doing me a favor, just making sure that you're subscribed to my channel down below. I have a lot of content to go through, and I release videos every day, so you don't want to miss one. Otherwise, you're out of sync, and you sort of miss the storyline a little bit. So by subscribing and hitting that notification bell, you make sure you're always in the loop of what's going on. Not every day is exciting. Some days are kind of boring, but you know, this is a daily journey. I like to share my life and what it's like to be a truck driver from my perspective. Based in Southern Manitoba, Canada, but I'm international going between Canada and the United States. I've been doing this, I've been driving for 17 years, if you can believe that already, and I've been doing this for almost 13. Lots of content. I've been uh, making videos too for oh, about 12 years now. But anyways, Let's get going. Let's get this freight on the trailer. I have an empty 53 foot step deck behind me. I'm gonna put some stuff on it and go. All right, we're all ready to rock and roll here. Got it all tied down. You can see that I put paid extra attention to the corners to make sure that nothing flaps. I also got safety uh, protection underneath there on the corners to protect my tarp. Make these last as long as possible. So you don't want your tarp flapping and it'll it'll rip right up there I got it as tight as I could also with protection underneath there and there so hopefully we can get these tarps to last longer that is tarping 101 Tarps have to be tight, no flapping. If you have anything flapping, it's guaranteed gonna tear. 99% chance you're gonna have ripped tarps, and it's a thousand dollars at least to replace them all. receiver where I'm going and they agreed to unload me today even though I'm arriving like right at the end of the day so they had the option they could have gone home I told them if you want to unload me today that'd be great but if I mean if you don't have time you want to go home that's totally fine too we can do it in the morning I I was totally cool doing it in the morning 
There's no, bring it in, we'll get it done today. Less to do tomorrow. Because today is Thursday when I'm filming this, so that's one less load he has to unload on Friday. It'll make his day a little easier tomorrow, I guess. That's good. It works for me, works for him. We're getting unloaded. I might have a reload in Minneapolis tomorrow. I still haven't found out. Still waiting on a message very soon on that. Oh, they bumped up the speed limit here. It always messes with me. It used to be 30 mile an hour through here. Around this little bend. Now it's 45 mile an hour. But 45 seems a little fast, so I still usually stick around 30 to 35. And we're back up to 60. We're just north of Emily, Minnesota. On Minnesota Highway 6. Just a beautiful day out here. Good day to be trucking. It's always a good day to be trucking. But when the sun's shining, it's extra good.
be legendary. I'm actually gonna make Karen my GPS here very angry because she's gonna tell me to turn right here. But she thinks we're going straight home, but I'm actually gonna stop by Flying J here in Grand Forks, grab some fuel. In 400 meters, slide right on North Washington Street, US 81BL. I know you're gonna be so mad at me, Karen, but I'm going straight. We're gonna go to the I-29, head south, down to the south end of town. That's where the cheapest juice is today for me. Usually if I was going straight home, I'd be making a right. Right here, at these lights. Not today. In 400 meters, turn left on South 48th Street. I got all the fuel islands open. Oh, it's finally finished. That took all winter. Nice. So what did they do? Did they add three more fuel islands or did they just, yeah, because they used to be just four here, right? So one, two, three, four. I think they added three. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but I'm taking this one. Number one. Well, technically pump 15, but it's the first one. So we're number one. Brand new. Wonder how long it's gonna take before someone breaks them. Am I right? There's one thing I've learned. We can't have nice things. Someone's always gotta break it. So it's very nice. It looks like everything is brand new here right now. And I hope it stays that way for a long time, but. You know how people are. People are rough with stuff. All right. Let's do this. Let's get our juice and go home. I'm not actually gonna make it home tonight. I will, or I can but I'd only be home at like 1.30 in the morning and I can't wake up the family coming home in the middle of the night. So I'll probably sleep at the shop or I'll sleep nearby somewhere and then I'm gonna be home tomorrow morning before my son wakes up and then I can uh, be there when he gets up. So I gotta be home probably around 7.30 in the morning and that'll work just fine. So I'll have to go to the shop so I can shut the truck down there. Uh, we'll figure that out yet. Yeah.